What are the best resources to help you find those industry jobs and opportunities? Emily R, you've had a nice spread of um, roles across the career. What would you say was the best way of finding those? I always think this is a really hard question because I always struggled with this. And I think the, the go-to places for looking for jobs are public health, jobs that that notification you can get or um, I would always look on Nutrition Society or AFN um, but as you know and all the students on here and, and graduates I'm sure you know that you, you will spend so much time looking and searching for for nutritionist jobs and you just can't find them anywhere um, so one thing I would say is I think we've said this um, on this panel this morning but don't just search for nutrition search for health search for food search for um, all sorts of different words because the likelihood of you having a title that is nutritionist is actually often quite slim. Um, there is um, a new nutrition um, recruiter company that came up uh, maybe like a year and a half ago um, called Nutrition Tal Talent um, and they're fantastic. They're um, a couple of nutritionists in, in the industry who have got so much experience and they they essentially look out for uh, nutrition roles and just specifically as a recruiter focus on them. So I would say definitely if you haven't already, if you can look on their website and kind of sign up to that or speak to them. Um, but what I, from my perspective, this is probably really kind of unhelpful, but it I my jobs kind of came about through contact. So I wouldn't say that I, I kept fall, falling, falling on my feet and it, it, I was very lucky. But what I would say is I took the opportunity whilst I was in those roles and really tried to reach out and, and speak to a lot of people because I knew that being in the BNF and being able to go to these big events with the nutritionist from Coke and the nutritionist from Danone and everything else, I stood there as a very nervous graduate thinking, I don't want to speak to any of these people, but I know I really need to speak to some of these people because it's going to open up opportunities. So what I would say is, is reach out and really don't be afraid to introduce yourself because you those people will remember that that nice student who came up to me and reached out and spoke to me at that event. Um, and and also what I would say is I very much believe in if you don't ask, you don't get. So what I would say is have an explore online LinkedIn at what sort of industry company you would like to work for, have a nose at nutritionist profiles, read up what they do in their jobs um, and and reach out and ask if there's any work experience opportunities coming up or even some shadowing they could offer because rarely there'll be ad, adver, uh, adverts for work experience or shadowing and I did this before I started uni. I reached out to my local hospital in Inverness and I got shadowing for two weeks in the dietetic department. Um, and I also got reached out to um, two nutritionists who used to work on my dad's oil rig. Um, and I got six months work experience with them whilst I was in university and it massively helped, but that wouldn't have come about if I didn't just ask. So I would say use your contacts, explore and just ask. 